this is ground level. Then we have maybe eight or nine feet for the first story of our house, and then 13 feet of tower until the wind turbine. So it's maybe 22 feet in the air. And that, the wind can go over everything and then hit the wind turbine. There she goes. So I came home and the turbine is spinning and I'm recording all the data. I think I got as high as 5 or 6 volts. Um, the wind is gusty so it keeps changing. So now when uh, the wind turbine stops, I stop recording. It's moving so fast. Yes! It works. And it stops. So I'm recording all this on the computer whenever I get voltage, whenever it spins. All right, so. I'm Trying to get the beginning, the first part of my wooden wind turbine tower up on the roof. This is the first five foot section and then I'll be an eight foot pole that'll rotate off here and I'll have guy wires that'll go from the corners with center blocks. But right now I have to get that up on the roof. So here's the wind turbine tower. There's four legs that support it. It's gonna stand up and this part is five feet and then it's gonna be an eight foot pole for th 13 feet. And this is where the wind turbine is going to mount on this threaded rod. And it has these, uh, these washers, so it slides underneath. And then I'm going to put these two nuts here so the wind turbine doesn't fall off. And I just covered it with this oil um, vinegar sealant. So that should be able to protect it from the, um, the rain and the sun, everything else. So this is the bottom of the wind turbine tower. And here, this is about level with me. This is about where my head would be. And then we go another eight feet up. It's very tall. So this obstruction here, the tower is taller than this building. So the wind can come over the building and then hit the wind turbine. And there's nothing else that's close by that can affect it. So this uh, configuration works very well. I just took the top bolt out and then uh, it rotates very easily down so I'm just preparing the wind turbine to be mounted there so I can raise it back up also I'm going to this is all reaching height it only goes up to about six feet so um, there's no problem I can reach everything here I'm gonna put um, zip ties here for the electrical cable and mount the electrical cable all the way around uh, with the wind turbine and then I can raise it up and create some so this is the setup I'm going to have with the tower on the roof. I have the wind turbine, so the wind hits the blades, it spins, spins this motor, generates electricity. Now the electricity will go in this part of the wire, and this is a flexible piece of wire that will be used um, so that the wind turbine can point into the wind, and this wire can bend and uh, wrap around the uh, tower. It's not a perfect setup, I'm going to see how that works. Now the, here are some automotive um, connections, so I'm going to disconnect this when I remove the wind turbine off the tower and this length of wire will stay permanently attached to the tower and this is 16 meters of um, cable it was internet cable that was left here, it was free um, it should be okay for a couple amps and that's going to come through the window so there's going to be the tower on the roof and then it's going to come along through the window so that I can record it here so I'm just doing a little test to see how much resistance is in this and to make sure I get some voltage so I'm going to have it up there for a couple hours every day um, to test and I'm going to graph using the Arduino to see when it's windy and how much power I get out of it. And I'm going to be storing the power in the lithium ion batteries. Alright, it's nice and windy. You can see all the trees blowing in the wind. And the wind turbine tower is ready um, for a wind turbine on the top there. So what I added, I had the initial um, piece here at the center box. This is just to hold the first five feet. Uh, this is a permanent structure. Everything else is to hold the uh, tower, the 8-foot tower that goes on top. So I got these tires for free at the local uh, car tire place, <laughs> wherever they fix tires. These are all used tires that I got for free. And then I took sa um, sand and I filled normal grocery bags, which is also for free. So right now I have two bags each, but I'm going to put more on top. Um, I also have a wood frame in there, so the weight sets down on the rubber and creates friction with the ground. So I have the four of those. These are the anchors for the guy wires. And then I just had 
um, wood that was just lying on the roof here. I used those and I wedged it under here with a rock so that when it pulls in this direction, um, this isn't going to move in high winds because if it moves every time, it's going to uh, create slack and then the tower can bend. And that's about it. I have these straps um, that I can pull to create tension. So I have to make even tension across um, so I don't pull the tower down. And they're just anchored there with large screws. Um, I also installed the wire. So the wire actually goes down there. It's quite a long wire. And it's just rolled up. There's enough there to go into my room um, so I can run some tests. Uh, so I can do all the testing remotely. Um, and the wire, I just drilled holes and zip tied it to the structure here. This is the part that pivots, so I have an extra link here so that it doesn't pull out. Um, so I just have it going all the way up. And at the top there, I have connectors. I have two like automotive um, connectors. So when I lower the tower, I can install the wind turbine, connect it electrically, and then raise it again. And then I'll be hooked up um, to test downstairs. So that's about it. So yeah, this whole tower maybe cost me $20. Basically just the wood that I bought, the cinder blocks were less than a dollar each. And then um, I tried to use as much recycled material as I could. I'm ready to raise the wind turbine. Now I checked to make sure that everything was connected properly. So I really like this design. It's so easy to lower it and um, work on the wind turbine. You don't have to climb up anything. You don't have to try and lift the pole. Um, I want to see how hard it is to actually push up here to raise it. I'm not sure, but basically I just have to get the first bolt in and then it should be secure as long as there's no heavy winds. And then quickly I need to tighten the guy wires. Of course I raise the turbine and then absolutely no wind. Also has a lot of resistance, so I have to work with the start speed. Remember, this is for testing. I built this so I can do testing. So everything's not going to work perfectly in the beginning. I have to try different motors and uh, different torques, different uh, turbine sizes, different number of blades, all that kind of stuff. But the wind really did die. <laughs> so this is our house. And there on the roof is the wind turbine. Sweet. So the uh, recording of the power from the wind turbine with the computer worked really well. But now actually I have a setup. I can control, I can measure the open circuit voltage as it's spinning and then as it gets above the battery voltage, which is about 3.7 for the one lithium ion cell, then the dial will allow current to flow from the turbine into the battery and then I'll re um, record current as well. Um, so this is good because it lets the current at the wind turbine come up to speed. It doesn't have a lot of current or resistance until it hits uh, 3.7 when it's spitting at a very high speed and it's very efficient and then it can uh, charge the battery. So that's what I'm going to do now.